Why Saber, not? come here, boy. I have an interview. What are you gonna plan to do today while we're gone? You're gonna eat? Okay. What else? You're gonna sleep? Oh, nice. You're gonna ignore me? That's cool. <laughs> today we're gonna go on a train. Choo choo. So right now we're currently stopped. <laughs> there were like a cluster of trees stopped at the, the front of the train. So right now they're trying to clear it up. There's been just a lot of drama on this trip. So hopefully nothing else happens while we're on it. Knock on wood though. Since we're still here, 10 minutes later, we just decided to eat this. I have a barbecue sandwich. Let's do it. Let's check out what's inside. The BBQ. Wow, okay. So we got, we got a cube, bag of chips, and we have the sandwich. It's a pulled pork, pulled pork sandwich. I don't know if you're supposed to put condiments on this, but let's see how it tastes. Hmm? The bread looks good. I don't know. Yeah, the bread's a little bread's fluffy. Like sweet, tangy. What are the odds that you take a bite of that? One, two, three. Zero. Three. Okay. What? Zero's still an upper. No, but I said one out of ten. Wait, we have to do it again. Out of five now. Ready? One, two, three. Two. One. Yes! The reason uh, we're here in the mountains in the first place. Because every year we have every six years. No, oh, no. <laughs> every year we have a big trip, usually in the summer. Last year we didn't have one, and so this year was supposed to be the year that we went to the Philippines. You know, we were preparing everything. The only thing that wasn't done in terms of uh, getting ready to go was our parents didn't buy the tickets yet. And then come February, I guess it, it turned out okay because this whole coronavirus pandemic rocked the world. This is sort of like our big trip to sort of compensate for the fact that we're not going to the Philippines for the three weeks that we're planning to go. So hopefully next year, hopefully I'll still be vlogging by then so you guys will be able to see our hometown as of right now. It's just Bryson City being stuck on this train and eating some barbecue sandwiches. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> we haven't been. <laughs> Tree's cleared out of the way now. Uh, as soon as our crew gets mounted back on the engine, we'll be underway. So we should be getting moving here just in a few moments. We are going to fire up the chainsaws and cut that one out of the way now, too. So we'll be sitting still for just a little bit more longer. Are you lying? That's crazy. Literally, Maybe this is fake wood. literally, we started going. Not even a minute later, we stopped. And they're like, well, there's another tree in front of us. So <laughs> we'll be here for another uh, 10, 15 minutes probably. But uh, I've been involved with the railroad for about 12 years, give or take. And uh, this year has been probably one of the worst that we've had as far as trees down. About a week ago, we actually had about eight trees down within a two mile stretch. So we're back on track. I'm gonna try Miss Vicky's sea salt chips. It smells like Lay's. Yeah, it's all right. We just stopped again. Bro, I swear, if they say they use another tree, next we're gonna look at Grandma's chocolate Ew. chip. <laughs> this smells like the chewy uh, Chips Ahoy. It does. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not crispy. It's like the chewy texture. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm going to give you guys one guess and one guess only while we're stopped again. You're lying. For those of you that answer tree, you are correct. <laughs> so, in the course of 200 yards, we have encountered approximately eight trees just going around this curve. So, our engine crew is now trying to clear another one out of the way. And with any luck, we will try to proceed on into Nanahill Gorge. Mm. I actually like this. Not bad. It tastes a lot like the... It tastes a lot like the Chips Ahoy. Not bad. It's not the most amazing thing I've ever tasted, but it's also not the worst, so cheers. While we wait for these next few trees to be uh, rid of. What are the odds you're going to eat this mustard, the whole thing? Out of ten. Ready? One. One. Two, three, Ten. three. Yes. Out of five for Shay. One, two, three, five. Ah! I We're going back. I just had an idea. It could very well be one of my worst ideas, but we're gonna try it out anyways. The siblings have been making root beer. Oh no, they've been making root beer floats. And they put it in these cute little, cute little containers right here, so I'm gonna use it. But what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna put like actual beer in it. And I am 21 turning 22, so this is completely legal. I don't think it'll taste good, but we can try it. Stick to your click, that is so red, but you a pet house. You don't fit in, don't understand, put yourself out. So stick to your click, is what I come in. And there you guys have it. Can you open the door for me? I can't lie, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty, that looks pretty good, especially with this uh, golden light. Let's uh, let's try it out. Also, disclaimer: this video was not sponsored by Stella Artois. But cheers. And then I got my beer float right here. I'm just hoping it's not disgusting. So far, the whole drink has turned completely white. I did three pretty sizable scoops of ice cream. I can't lie, the froth tastes really good. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit because I like it pretty homogenous. Uh, cheers, let's try it out. Dink. I'm be honest with you. It's a very <laughs> confusing flavor. It's very confusing. How do I explain this? The two flavors are obviously very strong. It's it's French vanilla ice cream and beer. They're two very strong flavors. Putting them together, you'd think that they would clash but they don't and you could taste the individual flavors but at the same time it's not you're not just tasting beer separately from the ice cream if that makes sense it's it's very confusing it's it's not the worst no did it make the beer better i think am i gonna be doing this again i have no clue was this a comprehensive review of this whole concoction not really but it was fun regardless so 
it really it's really not bad it's just it's very confusing like if any of you guys try this at home let me know down in the comments text me if you know me personally because I'm dying to know what you guys think. This, it looks just, it looks like milk. It looks like frothy milk. But you taste it and you're like, whoa, that's, that's alcohol. <laughs> Mame! Yeah. Are you free right now? I want you to taste this. What is it? Is it beer? Taste it. It smells like yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it is? Is this beer? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> It's the Stella Artois and ice cream. Why did you mix it? No, it doesn't work that way. Your ingredient is wrong. You need a fresh one. <laughs> See, she's coming back! She's, 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 yeah, I'm telling you! <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> yeah, this, you drink it and you're like... <laughs> wow! <laughs>